series. This could be a long one, everyone. Thunderbirds versus Evil Geniuses. Put this ward down when they first came down to contest the rune, so he knows exactly where Crit is moving. He'll come underneath the tower, but Misery, he will take the first blood. And a bounty rune. Can it turn into a push play? Absolutely. Oh, oh Samael is not six yet, though. No, he, don't, he can't jump away. The slow is just going to be too much, but maybe... No, he can't do enough damage. Really can deal with DP on their own. Oh, he got an Invis rune on Weeha as well. This is horrible for Samael. Oh, they both is on there. top of him. You even have the Dazzle coming in for the Burst Heal from the Shadow Wave. Thunderbirds, everything is going their way here. Are uh, they going middle lane? Crit with that quick little haste rune jumping into the mid. They do have the Silence, so Weeha can't just Spirit Siphon himself away to victory. And this is not looking good for EG's early early game, but you still can wait for their power hit. Zai's gonna try and play this middle lane with the help of Arteezy. That's one way to get back to the front lines. Haunt yourself in, go for the kill on Weeha. The damage output, however, Samael must ball lighting himself in deeper. He had the regeneration room, that's what gave the man to get there, but they lost Arteezy. Crit's not too healthy either. And they know more. Misery underneath that sentry ward. EG re-engaging, able to kill off Misery, but Resolution lets the lights go, but the creep wave, it soaks up everything. Zai not getting hit by a single beam. For their team. Now, will Thunderbirds try to put some more pressure here? They're looking to go mid. Well, we've got no exorcism available, so they can't just force it that way. Well, then they're getting flanked. Here comes Universe Crit as well. They go for the Frostbite over on Weeha. Samel jumping forward. They're going to Vortex back in. We need a little bit more damage, but they won't be able to do it. Not while the Shallow Grave is down. But when you let the Frost fall, it will be enough to get two kills into Thunderbirds. Moon wants to join the engagement. Burst Strike forward. He only hits Creeps, however. No control on the EG heroes. Misery will fall down as well. An evil G. Geniuses. It was a casual wraparound. Misery loves company, so they're gonna group up and smoke as five. And go Roshan. And go Roshan. That's a good place to have a little bit of a, a get together. Oh, exorcism it up. And they're gonna commit with the weave as well. As far as Radiant Vision goes, they don't see anything around the pit. This but is that's the reason why Zai Roche. is coming in. Where is the sentry ward? Where is the detection? Zai's gonna put down the smoke screen. Roshan is dropping down to 1600. Zai is just waiting with the smoke screen down. They know it. They go to sentry ward. So Zai finally visible. Moon gets a double bar strike out. The jump forward. It will be the Aegis Immortal into the hands of Resolution. And with the Eclipse falling down, Zai falls. But he's the only one down at the moment. They want more with the track up the hill. They'll see Crit Moon again for the bar strike. Able to catch out the Crystal Maiden. Samal can't really do much to stop but it's Misery is the bounty hunter. We doesn't feel confident. The, the, the Lunar position. Illusion is currently killing it, and they're going for the kill. EG want the kill. That's why Storm Spirit long jump forward, going after Death Prophet. That actually will be enough with a Yule Scepter up. He may have enough time to get the life back in from the Exorcism. No, it will not be. He will fall. Key Orc hit coming out from uh, Samael. They're moving towards the mid lane. There's still a tower within Deny range. It's on 51 HP, Zai's dead. and Crit is finally going to take care of it. Goodbye, Zai. Walking in through the back lines. Resolution just had Escardi arrive as well. And with the Creep Wave here, they can push in. And they can push in pretty hard. Arteezy moves to the front line. He's actually uh, he's going on Resolution. Same with Samael. They won that kill. A quick Yule Scepter up. Resolution can't get the distance. Or can he? No, Samael gets the last hit in. We uh, split three ways with a Cypher, but he just can't suck enough as he'll get hold in position. Okay, Moon, is this his time? No, Samael just ball landings up. He's looking for another kill. One more attack on the Moon. It's not enough. 33 HP. We split up again. Back in towards a death prophet on the Weeha. Universe will find this one. They hold their ground. EG. They just weaved and oh, this managed is to dodge it. They're gonna find Arteezy. The smoke will break. Misery gets the vision. Oh, no! no! Moon misses the bar strike. Here comes the mail. Looking for the opening. The Eclipse will fall. Where is the glaive damage? Arteezy still alive for the moment. So probably not for much longer. Misery. He will finally fall. Moon pushing himself up the hill. But Samael under the cover of his own BKB has the life. Weeha trying to man this up. But he can't get out. He will be able to find at least one kill on the support, but he cannot survive the wrath of EG. Samael and Universe, the Immortals. Blade mail. And that's why you switch it up. That's why you get Resolution the Satanic, oh. but he just got scouted out. If he really goes down here, this is going to be a huge problem. Triggers the BKB. Needs to use the Satanic as well. Get that life back out of EG, but he has to run further away. Arteezy doesn't keep up with the chase instead. They turn their attention towards Weeha with an exorcism. He tries to do as much damage as possible, and it's working for the moment. He's holding his ground under the cover of the BKB, which will wear off in just a second, which is right now. Moon pulled back in the Shadow Grave. The perfect home from Zaxa, but we're again 
Dana into the spectral horn. Will it be enough? You've lost two, you've lost three. A triple kill for Arteezy. And they look towards the mid with four down for Thunderbirds. Only the Death Prophet has buyback, but without exorcism, she's not going to do a hell of a lot. And this could be the end of game number one here. EG will at least be getting two lanes. And Zai, he's already looking to initiate up on top of Resolution. The life is just being drained from the Luna. Nothing she can do, and GG well played. Evil Geniuses take game one of this best of three against Thunderbirds. Got to give a lot of credit to especially Zai and Sumail in this game, I think. Oh, wow. yeah. Signature yeah. hero. Classic. Uh, the tools are there for Thunderbirds, so in this draft, I'm definitely favoring them, but EG, if they snowball it nicely, this could work. This is not the way you start a snowball, though. No, when Crit just gets thrown back in by Telekinesis, Misery is the first man on the board, and ka Phoenix will take first blast. Now, Universe is uh, quick going in again. Uh, Universe really wants to get up in the face of these supports. Again, if he can force the supports to do this, Icarus dive away. Oh, Universe has misery. moved his speed. He's got the phase boots. Misery stuck around for just a second too long. It's brought him closer towards Universe, moving back to the tier 2 tower, but you've got the overwhelming odds available. She's going to fail. Yep, they're, oh, okay, they're going bottom. They need to help. Oh, bottom lane underneath the tower. Misery. Yes, Icarus dive himself out. The duel, however, will bring him straight back in again with the tether up. We have ourselves a winner, and the winner is Universe. Medusa, shields are up, but more support is on the way. He's playing some of the best laning yep. I've seen in a long time, just from anyone. He hit it perfectly. Oh, they dust and they find crit, but Icarus dive forward, able to reveal him on the run through the trees. Raw's going to be committed with the Sunray, but that's a very tanky tree and protect that goes with the overgrowth and the leads. He's bringing in help. The duel is up. Universe plus 20 onto him. Oh, puck. We are in smell battling for the rooms with resolution on the run from Arteezy as well as Zai. No shields, no mana, no life, no hope. Ends up losing him, and because they're positioned, they can just rotate in towards Weeha. Weeha, he silences and tries to get aggressive against Samael, but he's burned all three abilities now all up to the hillside. But Samael, hot on the tail, easily able to follow the puck. All three. All three of the top three on the map. And maybe, maybe now, can they fight it with the silence, with the dream call? You've already lost misery, and Weeha knows you cannot. You have to run, but the duel is up again. This is a slaughter. And they've just been playing it extremely well. Oh. Top lane, Moon Meander. This, this is, is the fate, however. This is what they have to do. The jump in, the silence, a three-man coil into the Nova. This is what Thunderbirds require. Draw Warlord will fall. Crit will go down as well. The blink away will get Samel out of range of the Nova. But Universe wants to fight. Duel is available. He'll get slowed down by the sprites with the orb damage. You actually have a very low lead. You commander. But with Zai's arrival, the regeneration, it does arrive. Misery is an unhealthy man. Sox will die. The ball slap him. Misery starts his TP. They'll see him. One quick swing. Misery! Well, they needed something. That's a hallelujah TP. The Hawk is able to see it, so Moon is moving over. They can potentially kill off the Iyo. Samael is in the neighborhood, and he actually gives a Lincoln Sphere protection to Zai. Moon can't go on him, and the duel, it wraps up the Rubik, not to mention the overwhelming odds. Universe, he's a max rock, just putting tire marks all over Moon's face. A triple kill for this plus 64 damage Legion Commander. Roshan is starting. The Hawk will give them the vision inside the pit. Weeha, he's gonna go YOLO. The jump in, the orb out, and he actually doesn't get it. He'll actually go down, Arteezy. He got back. With the help of Samael. So he runs forward. So now you can just dream call and try and kill him off if you want to. The silences, the slows, it should be enough to kill him. And now, okay, Feybot will do it. The Aegis Immortal is gone, but look, look at, at Universe. Universe's position. He jumps in behind. He looks for Moon Leander. He's going to mop him up easily inside the duel. And a pause for a moment. Puppy on the, on the phone. As uh, Zai has broken his keyboard. It's not Necro 3. They need uh, to place a sentry. They actually have to use a sentry ward. Now in comes to jump to pick up on the tree and protector. The Nova, it's down, but Arteezy focuses it with a sonic wave. The damage, the rune. They have to stand here, Thunderbirds. The damage is too much. Resolution's out of shield. They'll lose four heroes. All the reinforcements arrive. And Weeha run the other direction. That'll work. They'll never expect that. You um, go beyond clearly. the wall, away from EG. Okay, maybe some Al expected it. All five heroes, it's a full wipe. Thunderbirds have lost everything. We actually breach past the 3-2-2 to 3-2-4. And EG, with a relocate up, they look to do the damage. The first lane of racks, 26 minutes in. No buybacks available for Thunderbirds. And even if they did, the ultimates just aren't there.
They will see that IO in a second. All right, how many hits do you think Universe is going to need to win his duel? I'm taking bets here. Four. Let's see. One, One, two, three, two, four, five. Okay, I'm over. The Sonic Wave will try and help out us against the Medusa, the biggest target. The Dream Call is down, but there's just no follow-up without the Medusa. Thunderbirds, they're losing everything under their shrine, and GG, well played. It won't even take the half-hour mark, and Evil Geniuses will 2-0 through into the quarterfinals. What, what a performance.